I'm Tara. I'm Dave. We're, We're the, the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. We normally make videos about reselling on Poshmark, eBay, and anything else. And sometimes traveling. Traveling. And then sometimes we take really long breaks from making YouTube videos, and that's what this is about. Dave has no idea what I'm going to say in this video. I don't think. <laughs> I'm just here. This is an impromptu last minute video. We're going to explain where we've been. And we're for, sitting on the couch. We're sitting this on the couch. So weird our, to me. We'll and explain this. This is a new situation. So we have been making videos for how long? Like almost two years now. Right? Long time. And we took a break for a while. And a few people asked us where we were. We're going to answer that question for those of you who wondered, those of you who didn't, that's all right. If you don't care, okay. <laughs> so about four months ago, I think, we stopped making videos. And to explain why, we kind of have to explain why, like what our regular job is, or I, I do. Why do we have to? I, because it's the reason why I wanted to stop making videos. Do you remember this conversation? So for we our... lots of conversations. <laughs> for our normal... <laughs> hold on, I'm going to take a sip. Uh oh, that seems like a good idea. That's the things we do in our videos. For our Wait. normal job... The wine tonight is... This is a gift from Dave's cousin. Yellowtail. We should link his channel. He has a channel about food and recipes. And things he's just getting started. Mostly vegan. Mostly vegan. Which we'll, we'll eat some of his stuff. Like yeah, hot sauce. That's really good. We were featured in his hot sauce video. So, uh, back to what I was saying. Our normal job that we do, which is also work from home, like reselling would be, involves court transcripts. We are editors of court transcripts. So we get to read a lot of depositions and trials about every subject you can possibly imagine. We've had many boring subjects like patent litigation. Uh, we've had interesting subjects, murder trials, things like that. They can get very interesting. Oh, I see where you're going with this. I'm like, what does this have to do with <laughs> Is that Twitch remember. trial? It's the Twitch trial. <clears throat> so what happened was about four months ago, the job we were on was every day working on a trial of a person who was a streamer on Twitch. If you don't know what Twitch is, it's a platform like YouTube for videos, but it's almost entirely live streaming. So I think they're almost all gamers and they're you're watching people play video games live. I think they have other stuff now. They do have like other stuff. And stuff like but that. I believe the majority is it started gamers. out as gaming, yeah, board games or online games, whatever. You could video take and, yourself playing the games and right. so other people can watch. And this particular trial was a person who was a streamer on Twitch and made his living that way. And he was suing Twitch because he got kicked off and could no longer make. Even talk about this. I'm not naming names. I'm not telling you who it is. He was suing Twitch because he got kicked off for breaking their rules and he was no longer making enough money, he thought. So we had to listen to this young man, he was in his 30s, and his witnesses talk about Twitch and streaming and gaming and social media. And it got to the point where I was feeling like that whole genre of life was pretty much worthless. The way he talked made me think, how can you make this your career? How can you make money this way? Doing nothing valuable to society or the world. That's what I basically told you, right? Um, he wasn't, he was breaking some rules. He wasn't like the most horrible person I've ever come across in the world of social media. But he, he, did, he wasn't contributing anything to society. And it made me start thinking about what was I doing as a person on social media, YouTube. And it made me reconsider 
if I wanted to do this. Um, so that was the headspace I was in. I want to tell you the one thing that this person said in testimony that made me the most angry. Um, and I've told Dave this. He was live streaming like six to eight hours a day. If you've ever been on a live video on YouTube, especially people who have large YouTube channels, they will assign moderators to their chat to delete any spam comments or inappropriate comments, delete people who are inappropriate. This person had a moderator that he had assigned to his chat and he had worked with every day for years. He paid this person a salary. It was one of his closest friends and they would only speak by username. They knew each other's usernames on the screen. And when they asked, what is your moderator's real name? He didn't know. He didn't know the guy's real name. And that made me so sad that you could work with a person for years and not even care to learn their real name. You let this guy really Oh get in yeah, your head. he He's got to me. Free in your head. He got to me. He was suing this company because he used to make over a million dollars a year. And when he got banned from Twitch, he was only making hundreds of thousands a year on like YouTube and sponsorships and I listened to the same trial and it didn't affect me at it, all. It got into my head. <laughs> it, I don't made care me, about this dude. it made me question many, many things about what I was doing in my life. This dude didn't make me question a thing about <laughs> my life. I didn't, I didn't lose like him. a bat of sleep. I yeah, he didn't bother me at all. I just didn't like the world that he lived in that made him money. And that's the world this is right now. But since so, we we make money off of the law system, which is another crappy system. Well, <laughs> I mean, there are people like that's we make money. Not all we're, crappy. we're like bottom feeders too. It's we, not all crappy. <laughs> so what happened was I said, Dave, I, I can't make videos anymore. I can't do this. And probably a month after that, I actually started reconsidering. And I'll, the reason why is because I have made legitimate friends through YouTube. People that have commented. Do you know their real name, or do I, you just know? I their know. I wanted to. I know their addresses, sir. Okay. Well, if you don't know their real names. <laughs> I know their addresses. I've been invited to their baby shower. Okay. I didn't get to go because it's a really long way away. Uh, well, and so did, and I had. Was, hold on. I'm getting to the second uh, part. I, I'm just gonna sit here and drink. Yep. It's your job. You just talk. <laughs> so. So I started getting very sad after a little while because I had made friends and I thought I now? can't, it's, it's much harder to connect with them when you're not making videos and getting the comments. Sad? I'm not sad right now. When you're not making the videos and getting the comments from those people, not from everybody. Like I don't, I'm not saying I don't care about everybody's comments. But Just the people she likes. These few people would always comment on my video. So it was like chatting with your friend or texting you know with you your are. friend. Um, so when you're not making videos, that dies down a, a bit. Uh, I did still speak with them through other other ways, but it wasn't as much, and I was missing that. And you know, there's more friends to be made. I don't make friends very easily, so it, this Me was. Either. Oh, shut up! He has a gazillion friends. I don't. Um, so I was just thinking, maybe we should start making videos again. And then, what happened? Three months ago. Oh, then we started a renovation. <laughs> we started a renovation. That pretty much ruined our <laughs> lives. So this isn't, we remodeled uh, our basement, which doesn't sound like much. Just half our house. But it is a, it's a walkout basement. It was already uh, a finished basement. It housed our bedroom, our bathroom, our laundry room, my workout room, our home office, and all of our Poshmark storage for clothing. So it, it All that was, stuff was in our living room. We moved that <laughs> up into the place where we used to make videos. That, uh -huh. that big table was covered in inventory and packing equipment. That's where we. That's where I slept, watched TV, worked out, and packed. The bottom items. line is when you sleep, work, work out, hang out, all in the same room, 
you don't want to make videos. We didn't have anywhere to make videos. There was we no don't, You space. don't even feel like making videos. Yeah. You don't feel like doing anything except for just making it another day and hoping that construction's over soon. So that was the next three months. <laughs> yeah, three months. Just only three months of that. It was like uh, basic training and AIT. <laughs> That's military terms, in case you don't know. I wouldn't have known before he went to the military. So we are sitting in our remodeled basement. This used to be where our bed was, and now it's our uh, downstairs grown-up living room. I don't know what we call it. We don't have a name for it. It's called entertainment room. Entertainment room. Our remodel is finished. We have our space back. We have a new place to store our inventory. You saw the last video where we used to film videos. It's back to normal. So Maybe we can pan. Oh, no. Can we pan? You can't see it all. That's some of it. Man, I shouldn't have done that. I said we should do a, a tour, but David doesn't want to. So we have our space again. My uh, mind has moved on past that young man that made millions of dollars by doing nothing but playing video games and screaming obscenities. Um, That's basically what we do. All day. We do not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, Isn't that what everyone does? I feel like ours, I do impart some wisdom. I do share my knowledge for free. And we do donate every dime we earn to Thank charity. Thank you for imparting your wisdom upon. Upon the masses. Well, just upon me. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I don't know where I'd be. You'd be in somebody else's basement. I would be basement. in someone else's basement, yes. I'd be, or, yeah, wherever. I'd be couch jumping or hopping, yeah. whatever. But that is where we we were. Rock That's why roll. we stopped making videos. Um, That's what rock I don't know if that about. makes any sense. I don't know if that's interesting information. Um, but that that's what was going through our brains. It wasn't... Not much was going through my brain. Oh, gosh. Uh, it wasn't like we were getting... Um, what's the word? We didn't have know. trolls bothering us. We weren't being stalked by anybody. Nobody was being mean to us or anything like that. <laughs> it was just that one guy made me second-guess social media entirely. And we've got to get to a place where I feel like it's a valuable thing or a helpful thing to anybody else for me to continue it. I feel like I may create some kind of reseller course that's free. A lot of people create reseller courses and then charge a bunch for them. Reselling's not rocket science. It's, you can find all the information for free already, but I, I feel like it'd be fun to put it in one space and make it free. I think that sounds like a great thing for you to do. I know, you can't do it. You don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. <laughs> and I'm not putting together a class for anything. <laughs> I think you should. I think we should have a, a terror class and a day class. What could your class be about? My class will be about, I'll teach you how to bomb beers. <laughs> I can teach that. You never I, taught I would be me comfortable. That. I would be comfortable putting on that class. I could teach that class. You haven't even um, taught me that. Yeah, but you don't. You're I not, don't drink beer. You're not material. Yeah, you're not beer buying. What material. else? What else could you teach a class on? Um. <laughs> uh, it's legal. I can't talk about a lot. <laughs> There's some things, you know. Guys got a lot of <laughs> hobbies. And, <laughs> yeah. You could teach a class on how to ruin T-shirts. Yes, I could do that. You could teach a class on how to marry up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Gotcha on that one. What else? I mean, <laughs> I'm not much of a teacher. I just want to know. Of a I want to know all about student of classes. Life. I'm a student of you life. You could teach uh, comedy for beginners. For beginners, how to fail at comedy. You could teach um, how to break the things, or, sorry, switch that, how to fix, fix the things, the things your, wife your wife breaks. Yeah. I think lately, 90% of my time has been spent 
fixing everything Tara breaks. She everything she touches falls apart. I don't know except for me. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm slowly falling apart. <laughs> okay, that video went longer than I thought. Um, we just wanted to explain to the world where we've been. And it's not that interesting, but now you know. Oh, and I could teach a longboarding class. How to longboard. Skateboarding, yeah. correct? Yeah. Yeah, you haven't taught me that either. I don't think that's a good idea for you either. You can't teach me anything. Well, you kind of, you trip over your own feet. Skateboarding is probably not a good idea. I trip over my own feet. I trip over my own shoes, sir. Not if, my own feet. Yeah, well, if you weren't wearing shoes, you'd trip over your own feet. Wow. What? <laughs> it's true. You know you're clumsy. I'm clumsy, but I'm not that bad. Oh, okay. It's the shoes. It's not the shoes. It's the shoes. <laughs> All right. Are you done with this video? Uh, sure. Do you have anything else to add? Do you promise not to let the people you listen to on... I can't promise anything. Don't let them affect you. Well, you hear about people's lives and they affect you. Right. We hear about... We also hear about medical malpractice, but I'm not going to like not go to the doctor if I'm sick because I'm scared they're going to screw me over. No, that's, that's not what I do either. I just don't go to that doctor. Okay, well that's yeah, a good plan. That's, yeah, that's a good big doctor. I do take If you would like to know somewhere. which doctors not to go to, you can let us know. Especially in the Atlanta Please area. don't go to Atlanta, ever. <laughs> don't get medical treatment in Atlanta. No, it's not, not all Atlanta. Stop, Tara. I haven't heard anything good about Atlanta. Yeah, so because far. the good doctors don't get prosecuted. <laughs> I hope. Okay. All right. Well, this is gone on longer than. Yeah, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. All right. Well. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah. The next one will be better. The next one will be better. That's our new motto. Yep. Let's live by that. Cheers. Cheers. The next one will be better. Good night. You can.